Hello everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your go-to YouTube channel for mastering Salesforce using specified trail mixes, modules, and projects. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community of Salesforce trailblazers. Today, we're tackling an exciting module, build a custom record page for Lightning Experience and Salesforce mobile app. This session is packed with valuable insights to help you create impactful record pages using Salesforce's Lightning App Builder. Before we jump in, let's take a moment to outline what we'll cover today. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create a customized object record page for both Lightning Experience and the Salesforce mobile app, activate your custom record page to make it accessible to users, assign different record pages to specific user profiles to meet their unique needs and confidently navigate the Lightning App Builder to design and deploy your custom record pages. Sounds comprehensive, doesn't it? Let's get started. First things first, let's talk about the power of customization in Lightning Experience. Imagine your users are sales reps who need quick access to their latest opportunities, performance metrics, and important tasks. With the Lightning App Builder, you can design a record page that brings all this information right to their fingertips, enhancing productivity and ensuring they have everything they need to manage their day effectively. Creating a custom record page is simpler than you might think. You have several options. You can build it from scratch using a template, clone an existing custom record page, or edit a page directly from the record view in a Lightning app. Today, we'll focus on creating a record page from scratch to give you full control over its design and functionality. Let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of building your custom record page. Ready? Here we go. First, navigate to the Lightning App Builder by going to Setup and typing App Builder into the Quick Find box. Click on Lightning App Builder from the search results. Once you're in the App Builder, click on the New button and select Record Page as the page type. Click Next to proceed. Now, you'll be prompted to choose an object. For this example, we'll select Opportunity. Give your page a name, let's call it New Opportunity Page, and then click Next. Choose the header, subheader, right sidebar template to keep things organized and user-friendly, then click Done. An empty record page canvas will appear, ready for you to build your masterpiece. With your blank canvas open, it's time to add some components. In the Components pane, you'll find a variety of standard components available for Opportunity record pages, as well as any custom components you've installed in your organization. Let's start by dragging the Highlights panel component into the top region of the page. This panel provides a quick overview of key opportunity details. Next, drag the path component to the region below the highlights panel. The path component guides users through the stages of an opportunity, making it easier to track progress. Now, let's add the chatter component to the lower right region. This will enable users to collaborate and communicate directly within the record page. On the lower left region, drag the tabs component. The tabs component allows you to organize information into easily navigable sections. To customize the tabs component, click on it and add a new tab by selecting add tab. By default, another details tab is added, but since we already have one, let's change this new tabs label to recent items. You might need to scroll up in the tab label drop-down menu to find custom at the top. Once you've renamed it, click done. Now, let's create an Activity tab. Select the Details tab on the canvas and drag a Record Detail component right below it into the highlighted green area. Next, add a Related Lists component to the Related tab, an Activities component to the Activity tab, and the Recent Items component to the Recent Items tab. Finally, select the Tabs component on the canvas and in the Properties pane, Reorder the tabs to Details, Activity, Recent Items, then Related. Remember, you can only adjust the order in the Properties pane, not by dragging them directly on the canvas. After customizing your components, it's time to save your work. 
click the Save button to store your record page. But remember, saving isn't the final step. To make your record page available to your users, you need to activate it. Click on the Activate button and you're all set. If you decide to make further changes later, you can always return to the App Builder and adjust your page as needed. Now that your record page is activated, it's time to roll it out to your Lightning Experience users. When activating a record page, Salesforce offers several options. You can set it as the org default, making your custom record page the default for all users in the organization. Set it as the app default, assigning it to a specific app so only users of that app see the custom page. Assign it to app, record type, and profile combinations, tailoring the page to meet the unique needs of different user groups, or assign it to form factors, customizing the page for desktop or mobile users to ensure an optimized experience across devices. For our example, let's assign the record page to the system administrator profile within the sales app for both desktop and phone form factors. Click on app, record type, and profile, then select assign to apps, record types, and profiles. Choose the sales app and the master record type, then select the system administrator profile. Ensure that both desktop and phone form factors are selected. Review your assignments and click save. Now, all users with the system administrator profile will see your newly created new opportunity page when they access the sales app. Let's take a moment to appreciate your handiwork. On one hand, you have the default opportunity record page, which is functional but generic. On the other hand, you have your custom opportunity record page, tailored specifically to your organization's needs. Navigate to an opportunity record in the sales app within Lightning Experience, and you'll notice that the layout has been customized with the highlights panel, path, chatter, and organized tabs. These enhancements provide a more streamlined and efficient user experience, significantly boosting productivity and user satisfaction. All right, it's time for our hands-on challenge. Let's put everything we've learned into action by creating your very own custom record page for Lightning Experience and the Salesforce mobile app. If you're not already in, click Launch to open your org or choose a different one from the drop-down menu. Ready? Let's get started. First, we'll create the Lightning record page. Head over to Setup by clicking the gear icon in the top right corner, then type Lightning App Builder into the Quick Find box and select it. Once there, click New to start building your page. Choose Record Page as the type and click Next. For the label, type New Account Page and notice how the API name updates automatically to New Account Page. Select Account as the object, click Next, and then choose the header and right sidebar template. Click Finish, and just like that, your new record page is ready to customize. Now, let's add some components to bring the page to life. From the Components panel on the left, drag the Highlights panel to the top of the page. Below that, drag the Tabs component into the main area. With these in place, it's time to configure the Tabs component to organize the page effectively. Click on the Tabs component you just added, and in the Properties panel on the right, click Add Tab to include an Activity tab. Now, you'll see Activity alongside the default details and related tabs. Keep the details and related tabs as they are. No changes needed there. With the tabs set up, let's add the appropriate components to each one. Starting with the Activity tab, drag the Activities component into the Tabs area. Switch to the Details tab next and add the Record Detail component. Finally, go to the Related tab and drop in the Related List component. With that, all your tabs are fully configured and ready to go. The last step is to activate and assign the page so users can see it. Click the Activation button at the top right corner then assign the page as the org default for both desktop and phone users. Save your changes, click back to return to the Lightning App Builder, and you're done. Great work. You've successfully created a custom account record page in Salesforce. Go ahead and test it out 
by navigating to an account record in your org. Notice how the layout has changed to reflect the customizations you just made. At the top, you'll see the highlights panel, which displays key information about the account. Below that, you'll find the tabs you configured, activity, details, and related. Click through each tab to confirm that the correct components are in place. The activities component under activity, the record detail under details, and the related lists under related. If everything looks good, congratulations. Great job on completing the hands-on challenge. While you head back to Trailhead to verify your steps, let's recap what we've covered today. You learned how to create a custom record page and explored the benefits and steps involved. Discovered how to activate your custom pages to make them accessible to users. Mastered the art of assigning record pages to different profiles and apps to meet unique needs and gained confidence navigating the Lightning App Builder to design and deploy custom record pages. Well done. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Declarative Academy for more Salesforce tutorials and tips. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. We'd love to hear about your experience with building custom record pages. Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching and happy building. Until next time, stay declarative. See you in the next video.